everyone, this is Learning Game and Crafts back with another craft video. And today, I'm going to be presenting you with my cat. And I'm going to be crafting my cat. I'm just kidding. Today, I'm going to be showing you three different ways to make some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pictures that I will be showing you how to make. Okay. So, um, let's get started. So all you're going to need throughout this whole video is your paper, of course your cup of water and paintbrush, watercolors, and oil pastels. And so it doesn't matter what color paper, I just have some printing paper here, so um, let's get started. You'll also be needing a bag, and for the first one that we're going to be doing, you will also need your bag. So. Um, what you're going to need is your bag, your watercolors, and your paper. But for the first step, you're going to need your bag and your watercolors. So let's get started on the first step. For the first step, all you're going to be needing to do is taking your paintbrush and whatever color of watercolors you want, and you're just going to paint the bag. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back to you when I am done. All right, so I only painted it a little bit, if you can see. I just have a, like, a little tiny dash of red that looks like orange right there and a bunch of blue. Now, it's not going to turn out that well if you only add a little bit, but this is like the best I can do in like the shortest amount of time. So I'm just kind of to bust through here. So, um... You just need to paint your bag, and the next step, you're going to need your painted bag and your paper. Alright, so with your paper and bag, all you're going to need to do is lay the colored part. This is the other side of the colored part, but the colored part onto the paper. And then you're just going to kind of flatten it out and smear it a little if you want. And, um... Sorry if there's a glare, but um, you're just going to smear it around, and then you're going to lift the bag up, and there you are, a colored piece of paper. <laughs> it's a little, okay, there you go. So it makes a really neat design, I think. Um, so on to the next part, like the next coloring chip is what I need. Sorry, I'm not very good with words today. For the next drawing, you're going to need an oil pastel the same color as your paper and your watercolors. So the first step, you're going to need your oil pastel and your paper. And you're just going to draw whatever you want on it, like whatever. I'm just going to write love in cursive, the best cursive I can do. I'm very bad at cursive because I only learned cursive in one grade and that's it so i never really used it in any other thing i could only write my name and that's very bad so um i'm just going to write love the best i can and show you the next step when i'm done so i wrote love and of course you can't see it because it's the same color as the paper but um it does say love and what you're going to need to do with the oil pastel is that you also so you see this flat end right here. You're gonna need to draw like this so that it's fat and it shows up a lot better. Um, so for the next step, you're gonna need your written on piece of paper. You can actually see it with a little light, kind of. But anyways, um, and your watercolors and your this and this and that, and that and this. So all you're going to need to do is color with your watercolors um, over your words and your words should show up. So I'm just going to do this out of the camera quickly because it's kind of hard to paint with just one hand. So um, I'll get back with you when I'm done painting my words. Alright, so I am finished and you can kind of see love like I see love perfectly fine. It's just like my handwriting is pretty bad. But um, you can see love 
really nicely. And if you want, you could do this with your name. You can do it with the whole paper. I just did small for the video. And, um, yeah, but you could only use watercolors. You can't really use anything else. Just because it will just cover over the oil pastel like any other thing. But, um, yeah, on to the next drawing. For the last drawing, you're going to need your watercolors, paper, and oil pastel like the other one. Except... Um, with the oil pastel, it has to be basically the opposite color or a color that will definitely show in the paper. Like, I chose black and I have white paper, so just something like that. But anyways, let's get started. For the first step, you're just going to write something on your piece of paper. And like the last one, I wrote love, not very well. It kind of messed up on the B. Um, but, either way, it'll still work, but then you're just going to do the same as last time. You're going to color with watercolors over the letters. Alright, so I am done um, coloring this, and I made it a rainbow, kind of, sort of. You can kind of see the brush marks and things. I'm not that good of, at watercolors. I don't really work with them that often, but... Um, yeah, I think it looks really nice. So I made a rainbow pattern so the black really stands out. Um, you can't really do this with any other paint because the red will just cover the black. You have to would, would have to like wait for the paint to dry. Paint. I didn't mean paint. I mean paint. Um, to, you would have to wait for the paint paint to dry and then um, put on some black paint. And if you do oil pastel, that would not work. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and see ya on another craft video. And I'm also, leave a like and comment down below if you think I should start teaching you how to make some desserts, like macaroons, cookies, um, cheesecake, cake, cupcakes, um, any one of those things. Like, just comment down below, say yes if I should, no if I shouldn't, give me some ideas of what you guys want to know how to cook so um thanks for watching everyone and bye